Welcome everyone to the last episode of us playing as uh, the German Reich, or the Great German Reich in Vanilla Hoi 4. Right now we're at war with good old Turkey because why not? And then we're gonna go to war with the USA and hopefully maybe end the campaign. Oh, look at this real quick. Sure, why not? Why not? That all sounds like some good stuff to me. Um, hopefully we can nuke. Actually, do we have any more strap bombers? Can we nuke anything else? I mean, we were just starting this, but you know, it is what it is. What is going on here? Medium three, fifty-three percent. Go high. Ooh. We're not ready because we're not at war, which is fine. Um, we need a few more military factories, don't we? Silver pelt, super heavy artillery, or howitzer. Sure, screw it. Look at those medium tanks. Um, actually, speaking of tanks, so he's quite a bit of mech motorized. Do we have enough mechanized? Barely have enough to do that. Uh huh. What was I thinking of? Oh, larger. Yeah. We're going to need some more military factories, aren't we? We're also trying to build a lot more uh, of these things down here. A lot of roads. Oh, roads. A few more nukes. Now, there's no guarantee we're actually going to be able to nuke uh, the United States, but that's alright. Uh, we're going to try to fish up Turkey first. I don't want to call out any of our allies in because I want to see if we can just do it by ourselves. It's, obviously, it's not too super difficult against them. Um, do we have enough planes? Oh, yeah. I think we have enough planes here. I'm just going to go throw these guys on over here. Um, a thousand more casts. If we have space for it, that would be great. As we fortify the Vato line. Um, yeah, over the focus is pretty, pretty fun overall. Ooh, you know what? We'll cross the Atlantic first. With the vanquishing of all continental opposition to our rule, we must see the refocusing of our production efforts to create the creation of a huge navy so that we may bring the fight to the British and Americans. We should not rest until in God's good time the old world with all its mind and power steps forth to the subjugation and humiliation of the new era. So, uh, But yeah. It's a lot of fun. I like the new focus tree. Obviously, I do want to try out like the Kaiserreich path. I want to maybe even try out the Democratic path, perhaps. It might be a little fun trying that out too. Um, we'll see when we get there. I mean, obviously, with vanilla being vanilla, I mean, sometimes playing vanilla cannot is not fun. Like sometimes the things that work out are not fun things. So it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, uh, as long as we set, I set it up correctly, we should have a lot of fun actually. So I'm glad I tried it out because uh, this is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I got a couple comments too, such as you should have expected Japan to go to war because they you took some land that they wanted. And I should have realized that. Yeah, it's my fault. Honestly, I'll be, uh, this. Ooh, let's go to the Greater Germanic Reich. We must construct fortifications wherever needed. Fortifying your defense will allow us to hold the barriers with fewer men, freeing up divisions to participate in potential conflicts anywhere else. I mean, we could go defensive line for the Baltic Sea to the Balt Sea of Azov across the Nipper River, and every state fully controlled by the Greater Germanic Reich. North Atlantic Wall. Oh, okay. The Alpen Wall. We don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. Influence these guys. Extend dramatic influence. I mean, because we could, we don't have to. But I was trying to say. What was I trying to say? I can't remember. The little divisions are in circle. Race for the bomb. Oh, yeah. I'm someone who recommends I do basically just take out the entire war at this point. I could, but that's just still kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Uh, that's, that's not very much fun for me. Ooh, that's good, we got that done. Um, but, oh, so the thermonuclear, thermonuclear bomb project has become an increased scrutiny and interference from political leaders, causing delays and potentially forcing changes in the project leadership. This is a rage as Hesla. We need to do these political challenges to keep the project on track. Keep them, remove them. Oh, it's fine. Or LC. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, oh. Bowman. Oh, he's doing propaganda min master. We have no doubts on appointing Goebbels as a minister of propaganda. He's already an accomplished speaker and writer. Now that he voices ideas for how to improve our intelligence organization, we have full faith that acting upon these ideas is within our best interests. I knew my army had it in them. Great job, guys. Oh, like I said, um, I, I don't know if I'm actually just going to go and take out everybody. I might use consequence in the end because, you know, trying to fight in South America. It is. I hate South America. I hate Asia fighting there, but fighting in South America, what a pain in the butt. No thank you. Um, that being said, I might actually throw you guys here, perhaps. Because we do need some guys here, too. Mm. 
Yeah. Not a good idea of all the fun there anyways. Boop. Boop, boop. Boop. Shoot my mind, very nice. Oh, we can try it again. They do have a lot of divisions that we will have to contend with. And I also want to make sure our navy is actually like the best it possibly can be because we're going to need our ships for a lot of things here. We'll try to raid as much as we possibly can. Of course, I guess we do have a division over here too, which is nice. Uh, that being said, you have only 400 here. Uh, you're going to need this. You're going to need this. You're going to need this. And this and this, probably. Not much, but it's something at least. Good, 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 good. Blueprint stealing is very nice. A little more passive defense would be good too. So you see, we got all of our spies ready to go here in America. This is probably gonna take a while to do. Okay, so any more nukes? All right, we need more strap bombers. Fine. Okay, get that off this stupid map mode. Where are the heavies? Oh. Oh. Wait, there's <coughs> as much as we have. Mike, apologies. Whoops. Excuse. Oh, also, we're going to need this last room here, too, aren't we? Because we are going to need them over here. Hopefully we can just raid their people as much as we possibly can. Scientist. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Good. Hopefully that'll help our Navy out a little bit more. I don't know about that much. Agent captured. That's not ideal. Provisional government of the Gambia. No, we are okay. Uganda. No, no, no. It's mm, fine. Is there anything else we can do for up here yet? No. We're waiting for guys to get here too, as well. Help! Low? Ah. What do you guys have? Huh. Two cruisers. Nope. Torpedo cruisers, nice. Oh, we are. We do have torpedo cruisers, because they did make those. Oh, okay, yeah. Because they're fighting America already. Do we have divisions up here yet? No, we don't. You guys are great. Uh, you guys are so almost over there, ready to go. I really wonder if they're going to be able to nuke us or not. Some guys here. Here, I don't think we've been close enough. Oh, we actually got it done. Nice. Challenge Monroe Doctrine. Oh, destabilize the Monroe Doctrine. Notifies the U.S. and allows them to intervene. Oh, although far from us in distance, some of the countries in Central and South America are ideologically very close to us. By establishing and maintaining good relations with them, we could both benefit greatly. Furthermore, establishing a foothold on the end of the continent could prove the most viable for the future. Why not? Probably get a view too. Torpedo cruisers. We're not going to reuse this, but. Ship of the line. Oh crap, we've got a, that's a lot. Holy crap. Hmm. Good enough. 
Oh, I'll probably need some more military factories back. It's fine. Alright. What is this? HGW? Yeah. All about subs. This stuff, and then we'll go to war. Whoopsie. What the heck? God, I hate that button. I'll just annex them later. I'll probably do just annex all. I don't want to, like, waste time. I, mean, I want to see all the pretty little states could be like. God dang, I forget which one that was. Whatever. Shock hardening. Proximity fuse. Oy. All right, let's see. So we go to war. I don't think we have time to get another nuke, can we? Eh, maybe. information 90 days that's not bad so with this going on we're gonna get let's get going we're take, taking too long so far you guys are over here I want you a convoy raid um honestly this would probably be good enough anything else outside of that I hope I can't do anything and we're gonna convoy raid all along here oh yeah Hopefully they have the range, but they might not. Get them out there. We got enough fuel for that. Hopefully enough fuel for our ships as well. So we're going to expand everything here, resource-wise. We expand that too. Tons of manpower. Tons of whole military factories. Um, that hopefully we won't really need in the end, but you never know. Basic medium airframes, advanced light tanks. Yeah, I don't need that too many of those. Um, advanced naval bombers are okay. Uh, just in case, let's grab some more planes. Oh. Or chaos, I guess, in this case. Alright. Let's see what happens. Let's save. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, too. Alright. And here we go. Oh, when are they going to start attacking us first? We're not, uh, let's see. Can I launch it? No. Oh. That's what's challenging the Monroe Doctrine. Darn it. Oh well. She had American hegemony. Americans have been long given way too much power on the international stage. As we grow stronger, it's time for them to move over. Probably Argentina, Philippines. Oh, forgot about them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. And it didn't fail you, darn it. See me next time. Oh, yeah, look at that. Final screens. Oh, yeah, the comments are going to die. Their abs are going to be shredded. You know, if we keep them here, they're not going to be able to do very much, which would actually be really nice. So, we should push them. You roll out like a bunch of Autobots. Now I guess we have multi-charge guns. Um, you really can't do very much. Your range is pitifully bad, but you can try. You know, at least try. Oh, there's no one here too. It's so bad. Another screens, tons of convoys. 
Nigeria. No, we're good. Tons of convoys, tons of screens, I'm sure. American Merchant Marine is going to die like crazy. We sunk four carriers in a single battle because we have ten. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Good job, guys. We're going to go and repair right now, but still. Nuke. Expand your naval base. Should be. Good. Processing good. Pilot spares American bomber crew following intensive bombing raids of our military industry. An unlikely story has developed. Uh, despite clear orders of bringing every enemy plane, uh, by letting their airspace down, one fighter pilot refused to do this. A pilot, one Franz Stiegler, came across a crippled bomber after a bombing raid and elected to not open fire upon him. He justifies his action by stating that the crippled bombers were different from the men in parachutes and that shooting at them would be just as abhorrent. I was initially attempting to communicate with the bomb recruit out of the land of the Greater Germanic War, I could surrender, or at least I had neutral territory. Stiegler gave up on these decent efforts and said, escort the enemy bomber to safety. Franz Stiegler is a talented pilot, but allowing to continue like this, he ends up finding actions might cause issues. Well, I'm glad this can't be repeated. Not one word. We can do it as a propaganda thing, I guess, technically. Oh, well. You have to take this. You have to take this. Good, because we need the supply. And us getting supply over the Americans, mm, very good. How is this? Click to raid and clear facility. Auto launch, I guess. Sure. Not alone, sure. Yep. Let's see. This long as probably won't work. This is a talk on national security. Be quiet. Uh there you go. Mad at me really. Ah. Oh we actually nuked Chicago, look at that. Good. Frick Chicago. For the first time, hopefully, last time in history of nuclear bombs been detonated in Illinois as part of the international warfare conducted by the Greater Germanic Reich. The unprecedented destruction to that is a testament to the devastating power of the new weapon, which is not only for what it can do to its targets, but what implications it has for the one who deploys it and for humanity itself. We're we'll all holding breath, waiting for what will come next. Will it force the U.S. to surrender and avoid further terror, or will it only strengthen their resolve to strike back against those who would resort to such measures? Nice. Half the planes were lost. Okay. Wow. Speed, division, resource efficiency, division defense, factory repair, speed, free repair. They ought to probably hit intended to get out. Nice. Hey. We still did it. On American soil, that's right. Yeah, give them the bear people. What are the casualties like? Holy crow. Prowl? 1.78 million. Not enough. Oh, come on. You guys are struggle busting here really badly. Probably because they yeah, we have another superiority. They just have so many freaking planes. Rating. That's kind of fun.
bearing, bearing. Can we do anything else? Um, hit Chicago. Established protectorates in America. The countries on the American continent have been governed in ways that are not aligned with our deals for too long. A full scale reorganization will be needed to straighten out these territory territories after a long time of civil optimal management. Yeah, pretty much. My god. Come on. Many air bases here are so bad, it's not funny. Get your butts in there. Take their air base. Nice, good. We're still pushing through the center, which is great. We're actually taking part of the west coast as well, which is pretty nice too. Slowly sinking through here. Ah. They should be starving for supplies eventually. Ah, they're pushing through here, which is whatever. I don't really care. Start attacking the Caribbean, really attacking all their naval bases and whatnot. Or their supplies. Good. So we're struggling in New England, struggling around Detroit, but through the rest of the center, center of America, it's not bad. <sighs> Come on, get the planes in there. Um, we are shooting down a lot. Our planes are just better overall. So eventually we're like getting rid of them, which is good. It takes a lot of time. Ooh, hello. Oh. And success. Do we just nuke ourselves? Nuclear fallout. Oh god. Whoopsie. Didn't mean to nuke ourselves, but that's alright. Uh-huh. Next. Hmm. Oil fields of Texas. South Dakota? Sure. Slowly getting there. Stopping against, uh, we want a, a dilemma. Should we focus on one type of plane or having more universal solution for actual jet engine spiders? Universal. There you Close and personal. Uh, you should be fine here. Ah, uh, we're doing well though. Losses we've taken suffered one point two four million. Yeah, taking quite a few of them. American Japan. Oh, look at the American Japan, that's pretty nice. Hey, we got oil fields in Oklahoma. Don't they want to raid ourselves? 
more shell here. Oh, come on, come on. We get the nukes for it. The nuke explosion on an oil field. Sounds kind of dangerous. Nice, that's good. And Himmler? Sure. Under the organization leadership of Heinrich Himmler, the SS has grown up from its rather small beginnings and a more prominent force within a country. Promoting it would less further take advantage of his skills and make better use of the SS as it stands. Come on. Boom. Ended in critical failure. Well, can't win it them all. Mission aborted. Darn it. Stop. We don't want abortions. Well, not like this. Anyways, I want a new Washington. No, close enough. New York? I just want to nuke ourselves. Because we're slowly, we're, we're winning everywhere pretty much. Here? It just it would be good, but we can't quite get that. Yeah, I'm going to just use cons commands and whatever we want. Or stay turns to a mod, of course, as well. Because supply sucks really bad with here, too. And there's a massive significant influence over German politics and policy making up to control of both the Gestapo and SS. Well, this makes us some strong figure in the German affairs. He's only limited time and strength in one of these organizations. The question is, which one shall take the president's? Intelligence? Security duties. SS stuff. Strength in the Waffen SS. Hmm. Expand the Gestapo. Absorb the Abwehr. I like that one. I like Germany the SS. Then the Reichs Autobahn East, if you're into this one, please go ahead. Boop. Critical success. That's great. Manhattan Project loses 25% progress. Nice. Good job. Naval Engineering. Landing Craft Coal. It's fine, whatever. Or should I get bomb, huh? You were just going so fast that you know might just be able to get it. Great job, guys. Ah, we need more command power. Okay. <coughs> so much for that raid there. Oh. So what? Two million casualties? Yeah. Versus six. Oh, Italians. Never change. They're attacking us, we're attacking them. It's all pretty normal stuff. I'm just going to win warfare. They don't have a lot of manpower, they still got a lot of fuel. Um, Plane-wise, what do they got? A lot of people in the air still. Tons of fighters, unfortunately. But we're looking better. We are definitely looking better. Um, we're going to expand the Rex Autobahn South. Please go ahead. Beep. You gotta grind up their manpower. That's all I gotta do. Keep these guys in place, go around them. Nice. Critical failure. Oh, that's great. Good 
Go ahead and move up these guys a little closer. East Coast. Oh, so you're looking pretty weak here in the center. Bring the tanks in the center. Somewhere like that, maybe. That helps alleviate some supply issues, too. If that's the case, I'm going to throw you guys here now even closer. Really get close. Hug them so closely. Because we got no, more than enough fuel. Fuel ain't a problem. It is sense metrics. Well, thank you so much, Italy. We appreciate it just so much. Not too many places left to send these guys. California's almost completely gone. Which is great. And the entire coast. The west coast is fully under our command. Which is great. Uh, order to confirm the theory behind a th thermonuclear bomb. Scientists uh, request the opportunity to carry out a test detonation. To acquire allegation of existing atomic bomb to initiate the chain command to significantly accelerate the progress of the project. That's fine. Go ahead. Figure it out. From Central Platinum. That's fine. A medica bomber. Sure. UAE, night vision, some better marines, better engineers. Oh, we bombed the UC. We actually got it. Look at that. Limited success. Look at that. Still pushing. Fleet subs, very nice. Have I actually pushed this back? Oh, yes, I have. How much more do you have? Uh, it's been a giant grind for our manpower. It's been a pretty grind for them too. They've lost six million to us. The West Coast has actually fallen pretty easily, actually, all things considered. Oh, they're definitely pushing us back out. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Just can't. We have even green air too. How? It makes no sense, you know. Come on, gotta do Sherman's race to the sea or something like that. Yeah, this is another ship. That's good. Get rid of them. Come on. Don't let me live. Come on. Why did you go down this way? Go down here. There you go. Thank fully. Thank God. Their bombs are nice. Oh, nice. Good stuff. I'm gonna slowly get them. 
Florida's gonna be ours. The South's falling. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is nice. I'm surprised how badly my tanks have been hit. Oh yeah, we're destroying the American Navy. Oh, that is disgusting. So I'm taking the casualties to show for it. The Carolinas are falling, spreading into Mississippi, soon to be Alabama. Texas now, we split the rest of the South in half. Good job, Marines. Take the air base. The less planes they have, the better. Ah, entire army captured in the Rockies. Armament rationalization. Oh, look at that. Our production lines can keep up with our armed forces' needs. Uh, we must implement armament rationing and measures to increase the efficiency and effectiveness of our industrial war machine. Good. All of Florida's ours. Nice. And now I have to focus on the south here, too. They should have no more fuel, basically. Once they're done out of their reserves, they're completely done. Good. You can focus on the south, don't you? Like, recover first? Because, holy crap, you're decimated. Absolute green air. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at all the planes we've been shooting down. Oh, someone invaded the Philippines. Thanks, guys. They keep adding more planes in, but they keep getting shredded. 40? Up to 40? Our average speed's lower, but we are just destroying them. That's so nice. The way it should be. Oh, we can't put any put the reactors here. What's wrong with them? America should have built up your infrastructure. Oh crap, the American infrastructure? That's pretty normal. Oh, just a little bit of oil and get in Michigan, huh? Not know that. That's fine. We took out the Philippines. Oh. Well, of course it would be the Spanish. Of course. Yay! Good. Yeah, our tanks are completely decimated. God dang. The Galsing. Ah. Thank God. Oh, 36 divisions. Good. Kill them all off. And we did. They've lost 11 million. We did it, though, my friends. We freaking did it. And I'll see you when we can do all the peace deals, or, and it'll be done, and then we can take whatever we pretty much want. I'll probably use Consequence to annex Italy, too. All right, everyone. So basically, I annexed the entire world. Um, I didn't, but I did. And so we can actually give these territories, because I want to see what they're like to uh, those places. So I annexed Bulgaria, unfortunately, but I like to come inside Balkan. Um, Anta Pavlich. I think they could use German leader. Friedrich Franz of Mecklenburg Schwerin. Interesting how it's set up like this. Um, basically, it's a Yugoslavian protectorate. Oh, this guy. I like it though. It's interesting. It's unique. Uh, let's see. Expand the Balkan administrative area. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and have that. Uh, hand over the Greek administration. Oh, Czechoslovakia. 
It should be corporate into a boom in modern into our realm. Every state in the Slovakian interest zones becomes integrate integrated. Uh huh. Boom and modern. I like this one because this is what I would want to do. But go and give it to these guys. Basically, Czechoslovakia without Czechoslovakia. Very nice. Nord Africa. Wow. No other option, just, just straight up just North Africa. Theodore Sites. Middle Africa. Ah. Any German official. Uh, DF Milan. Of any German official. This is a really nice border. Look at that. You're not. Uh, you're, not schnee. you're not boring. Um, Klein Venedig. Uh, Venedig. Vendig. Venedig. Pinho Salgado, Adolf Friedrich of Mecklenburg, Anden, and then Columbus. Jörg of Saxony, and Christian Louis of Mecklenburg. Oh. Columbus, that, 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 hold on, so, this is cool. Anden is really cool too. I don't agree with this one. Rex Commissariat Columbus. To me, that makes no sense. It should be Central America, and Mexico, and Mexico, and then the American South should be separate. Like, this doesn't make any sense to throw all into this. I mean, this is like a golden circle idea, but still. Especially, why would you divide it between Georgia and South Carolina? I mean, you still, you're missing out the mid-Atlantic states in Tennessee and Kentucky? And, you, and you, But you also include Arizona and New Mexico. Like, culturally, they're all completely different. Well, you know, that's just me, whatever. North America? The fate of the West Coast America. And over East Turkestan administration to Turkestan, that's fine. Oh. Uh, Franz Aton Bosch. Uh, there you go. <coughs> Rex comes out uh, Arabin. Uh, Tobla. Very nice. Uh, Gross Hindustan. Ostasien. We got at least a lot of, a lot of states, and then Australasien is next. And who do we have? Oh my God! Please don't crash. Point up. All right, so who do we have here? Arabin, Tobler, Hindustan. Looks I'm pretty young. Alex comes here at Ostasien. Yeah, you just get all of this territory. Koreans, J Japanese, Chinese, Mongolians. I'm not sure if I can completely agree with how this is all set up. That's not how my post-World War II Germany would really look like, but you know, it's what the devs have thought. Pavel Bermont Avalov. That's that, that's mustache. Who is that so far? Give it a day. All right, extra parts are gone. Okay. Um, yeah, you know the Greeks parts. Balkans. You know South Africa. That's better. The Hungarian part. Just it basically it's a Balkan like federation that Bulgaria can create. And yeah, it's, it's weird. Yeah, like in the Freeman. Uh, Turkish part to. Out of being well, what about this part here? Should this go with Hindustan? Out of being no. West Coast America. We capture the American West Coast zone. How should we deal with it? Some plans included within North America, while others proposed could be attached to a Colombian state. From the even graphic to be greater state of Japan, what do you say? <sighs> Why don't we just have another administrative zone? This is too big of an administrative zone. Like I said earlier, especially with this, it should be like cordoned off into sections of the south, sections of Mexico, sections of the west coast, or plain states. I don't like that we have, why do we have to It'll look better under North America. I wanna make it look, look really bad. This makes literally no sense. I mean, wow, wow. Well, there's a manpower too. Look at that. This makes literally no sense. 
But that's cool. Do I not get anything for Italy, though? We got something for, like, the Iberian Peninsula. Literally all of Africa, except we own the Nile. Um, Istanbul. Which is cool, we could rename that, but we can't. Um, but the rest, literally every other state here is, like, has a new modifier, has a, or has under, admi some new administration. Except Madagascar isn't, which doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. All you can get is a 10% military factory, construction speed, a more factor up on better consumer goods. Come on, man. Nothing for, uh, like, France. Like, France itself. Or Italy. So, I, I think there's some a few missed opportunities here. I could be missing some Rex Commissariats, but... I could be wrong about that. Um, yeah. But we're not going to challenge a fear in this campaign. Totala Krieg. Yeah, it is what it is. But, hey, I thoroughly enjoy this campaign playing not... Uh, not, not, not uh, fun Germany. Um, but we'll play the uh, AS Torkel route sometime, too. If you enjoy the campaign, though, please consider... The, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are over this campaign. Uh, join me on Rumble because I got completely demonetized on YouTube and I need to actually make a few dollars here and there because now I'm making no money doing this. Um, not, not that the money's the biggest issue, but you know, after hitting 25,000 subscribers on YouTube, I found out I can, only get, I can only get monetized on my channel forever. It is what it is. But regardless, if you enjoy the campaign, please consider leaving a like and I will see you all tomorrow. Oopsie. I love you guys, Iceland and Finland alive. Well, I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.